Welcome back to V Rule. We have that giveaway. We are looking for 4,000 subscribers to get us to this giveaway. The Scarlet and Violet 151 uh, poster collection. Going out to one lucky winner. All you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Be a part of V Rule permanently. Uh, be sure to hit the bell because I post seven days a week. And if you need to actually enter into this contest here, the special. Specific way to do it is to go over to this video here. That's the one. That's where you need to uh, leave an additional comment and be a part of the channel. That's where I'll be pulling the winners from. I can't even get my bearings today. Let's just skip onward here. We got to get through with the video. Let's get to the point. Today is Sunday and it is our Sunday slip. We're looking at prices going down uh, to this week. It's only going to be single cards. A lot of the sealed is either holding steady or the dips aren't really worth talking about just yet. Um, so I'll kind of keep an eye on those for maybe next week to bring them up. And then uh, when we get to Tuesday, there's a lot of stuff climbing. So it's hard to find here. It's a, it's a rough time to be in the hobby because there's availability. However, uh, the prices are all steady or trending up for the most part. There's only uh, a, a little bit coming down, and the movement is not enormous. But let's dive in. When we do have that conversation going on of what's coming down, I'd say Shrouded Fable is one of the exceptions uh, of where things are holding steady or you know, not moving a lot. This one's just been steadily declining. And it kind of makes me wonder, are the sealed products going to be of value sometime down the road? I don't know. I don't know if this will ever be one of the sets that people go, oh man, we really slept on that and nobody did anything. Um, Pheasantipity coming down here. This data doesn't make sense. Let's bring that to a different graph here. Okay, so there was a little bump up, but we, we couldn't hold out anymore. And this one really is only up there because of the playability. So uh, it's it's almost a false number anyways. This should be closer to like the $30 range uh, or thereabout like we've seen with the other special illustration rares from the set. So uh, interesting, interesting on Shrouded Fable there. Iono, Paldea Evolved, this one's just been a steady decline. There's been more versions of Iono that have come out from the Iono Premium Collection and others, uh, and that's kind of what's helped impact the price in coming down, but something there to keep an eye on. If you're looking for a few of these last remaining cards for Master Set or just a Beautiful artwork like this Iron Crown EX that you really wanted to get a hold of or something. Uh, it might be worth keeping in your back pocket to take a look and, and keep track of them. Temporal Forces, Iron Crown EX, just a steady decline. Uh, all the way in those early days of when it first came out, we were in like the $56 range, $60 range. That's what it was, $67. Okay, and then it kind of went wild up and down, up almost to $80, and then it kind of has now resolved itself, but still this little decline, I'm thinking we're probably gonna be in a plateau in the $50 range. I don't think there's much more to go down on this one, but we'll have to see how that plays out. Again, Shroud of Fable, Cassiopeia, everybody thought this would be the chase of the set, and I think it truly is beyond the playable cards, the Earthen Vessel and the Pheasantipity. This one really would be the chase of the set, which is why I believe those cards, once playability runs out, or they get replaced in, in how people are maneuvering with their decks, um, those are going to be kind of falling by the wayside. It's going to take some time. I mean, playability on cards, that, that lasts. You know, you hold on to that. But once that runs its course, uh, this will become the chase of the set, in my opinion, and those will fall, fall below that. Oh, I do have a sealed one. And actually, this was a little bit of a trend I was seeing on, on certain things, uh, particularly Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. So this is the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box for Stellar Crown, and we've seen it for others, like Twilight Masquerade, where the price is... Uh, showing to crash, but really those pre-sales are just always outrageous on this, where people want to get a hold of it right away for whatever reason. Um, but this is a little bit more normalized right now. But what I'm saying here is it's interesting that these prices are inflated at all because they're still available on the Pokemon Center website. So there's got to be another way to get it on the secondary market instead of this because it feels like you're just getting scalped a little bit uh, on that when you're going through this this progress of getting getting the price point there. Uh, I, I'd probably just pick up the stamped card myself and then move on and not worry about the sealed box unless you're interested in that portion of it if you really don't have the option to get it through Pokemon Center with those inflated prices. Terrapogos, EX, Terrapicos, I don't know. How do you want to say it? However you say it, doesn't really matter. What it matters is the price is coming down. We are sub 100 here. Um, it's been a big, steady decline and kind of moving here, you can see it somewhat trying to level off right there. If I go to one month, maybe it's not. Maybe we're just going down to the floor here, um, and we'll see. We'll see if it's going to level off sticking around this $100 mark or what. Uh, I think that's actually a reasonable price point for this one when it comes down to the pull rates and the chase of this set being 
this card and the Squirtle and Bulbasaur in the $40 range, $45-ish dollar range, I think they're at now. Um, this is not unreasonable here for the for the set to have a high chase card at about $100 because our next illustration, special illustration rare is the Hydrapoli X, and we're sub-50 on this one already. And that's even a little bit of a bump up here. So there was, there was a time when it got down to $30. Wow. Okay, interesting. Um, well, this one doesn't make sense here, so let's let's take a look here if we got some recent sales. 47, 33, 32. Okay, this is this is really what we should be looking at in the 30 to 35 dollar range. Seems reasonable here. Um, so I don't know what these are about here. Sometimes they just give you these uh, crazy prices there that are going to be for the TCG Direct or something. Uh, Lacey out of Stellar Crown here. Um, another. Special illustration rare, and we're getting down in that $30 range almost, but look at that steady decline on that chart. Uh, if we try to condense this here, yeah, it's pretty steady. Not a lot of peaks and valleys on that one. Going back to Shrouded Fable, the illustration rares, uh, these were looking to be one of the better cards out of it. The artwork's pretty nice on it, so it uh, seemed like these would stand out, and here we have it still declining, still declining in that $20 range. Persian and then Hundum, similar story here. Uh, this one shot up real quick and then it's been kind of on this decline, a little bit of a peak up again, but here we go down to that $20 range on Hundum. So, uh, cool looking card, you know, it's a decent artwork and everything. So, there's got a lot f going for it. Twilight Masquerade, this is really not going to be getting into the sealed too much, but I wanted to note that we may have peaked and it may be due to upcoming sets. Um, that would be my opinion of why it's going to be coming down a little bit. If we look at this, just more recent, uh, it's just getting into a dip, just barely starting out with that. And the reason being, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, Surging Sparks is surging in price. I mean, now booster boxes are going for 130 pretty regularly. Uh, TCG player had them at like 138 or something. So, I mean, we haven't even seen the set yet, and it's already going a little bit crazy. Um, I went with uh, getting an additional booster box where I otherwise wouldn't normally do that. So I'm glad I went that route because the prices are already starting to climb. If we see it following the trend of Twilight Masquerade and getting up to that 160 mark, uh, it's going to feel pretty good to have an extra box uh, getting to that price point. But we got to be aware that these do come back down. And it's the future, it's the other sets that are going to be bringing us back into reality. Now, with this trending price down, I would think we'd see some of the singles coming back down because over time, booster boxes do tend to do one of the better investment pieces. They do tend to do well. Um, so the singles will hold their own and be in a different class altogether. But I'm wondering if that Greninja will come down. Uh, for this week, it's not. It is not coming down. If anything, it's going up. We'll probably talk about that on Tuesday because it's kind of taking a shot in the interesting direction there. But we do have a couple others out of Twilight Masquerade. The Carmine here, uh, just been on a steady decline, coming down to that $73, $57 range, something like that. Uh, $73, $57. Sorry, I didn't articulate that. It sounded like two separate dollar amounts, $73 and then $57. I'm dumb. Let's move on. Parent, <laughs> we have Twilight Masquerade again. Um, great card here. And, oh, man, we got to this little floor here and kind of peaked back up, and now we're kind of getting to that range where we're probably resolving, resolving in a new price point. So 70 might be the, the price point because here we are at 68. We tried coming down, what was it, 65? Was that low? Yeah, 65. But we were in a decline trying to hold around 70 already once before. We're going to be getting back into that range. I think 70 is probably going to be the price point for this one for a little while at least. Eevee made the list out of Twilight Masquerade, and just barely. I mean, the reason I will point it out Eevee, because when you look at this, it looks like a trend up, a little bit jagged. I stretched out to six months, but I wanted to see something that you can kind of note and see, uh, pinpoint the, the high points, literally the peaks. 6112, all right? Let's go to this peak here. 5642, let's go to this peak here. 5585, all right? So it's just, it's slight, but these peaks are dropping. So while it's going up and down, it's moving around a little bit, a little bit more volatile than some of the other cards, a little bit more volatile than the set overall. Um, these peaks are steadily stepping down little by little. Right now it's at 47, and that could be working its way back up to hit another peak, not quite 55, but maybe 52, I don't know. And then it might work its way back down a little bit. We'll have to see. Time will tell. Uh, as far as illustration rares go, uh, this is a beautiful one for sure, and it's a fan favorite, so it makes sense that there's some popularity here. Uh, I don't think we'll ever see this reaching the Magikarp uh, that we have out of Paldea Evolved, but uh, something to note that it might be a long-term hold piece because it's so popular and it has a good 
like a, a lot of good going for it. I can't speak today. Raichu, Paldea Evolved. Here we go. Steady decline. Uh, we were back in, what was that? Oh, August here. Okay. Had some pretty high points there. I thought we had a bigger peak earlier in the year. Well, May, yeah. And then everybody kept going after it. Got almost to $50. Now we're down to 30 Okay. So 30 bucks on that one. Probably not too bad for what it is. The Sleeping Raichu is obviously dreaming because you got this REM energy going here. I don't know if that's how Pokemon do it in their electric type, but I'm just going to pretend I know something. Uh, Temporal Forces. This is Ghastly, but it's Haunter, and it's Gengar, and it's Meowth. This one's kind of cool because you have a lot going on. And it's a little bit jagged here. Uh, interesting how it looks like it's trending up here, but let's try to stretch it out a little bit and get a better idea that this has really come down over time. All right, that's one thing you got to do every once in a while is just kind of go, oh man, it's going back up. I don't want to mess with it. Overall, it's come down quite a bit. So it might be a let's get it before the next run up or before it resettles getting up to that $30 range because I think it might be heading that direction. So uh, this one might be on your radar for a pickup to finish out a set or just add it to your Ghastly Haunter Gengar collection. Who knows? However you do it. I mean, comment down below. Let me know how you do it. I don't know how people do it. I collect so weird. I feel like I'm the only person who collects the way I collect. Uh, and maybe I'm not alone. Maybe I'm not alone. And maybe other people have really cool ways of doing it. Same kind of thing here. I was wondering what's going on here. Are the peaks trending in a downward direction? It didn't seem to be the case. But when you look at it overall, we are coming down from this high point back in May. All right. And we're still in this correction zone. Yeah, we're kind of leveling out. We had a little bit of a high here. We're coming back over here, but now we have these peaks here. Look at that. So this one here, 1945, 1922, 26, something like that, 1911, okay? Not a lot of movement on those peaks, but it's still trying to keep it sub-20 for the most part. So we'll have to see how that plays out over time, and that's what you got to do is kind of extrapolate the data, see what you get there. Monkey Dory, I think this one is a beautiful artwork for an illustration rare not a super popular Pokemon because it's so new, probably, but I think it's absolutely stunning as far as artwork. And I think it's right in that range where I'm ready to go and get this one now because at $12, that's an easy pickup, in my opinion. Um, I don't want to be throwing this stuff around like it's nothing, but the artwork is so beautiful on this one. For a Pokemon I'm not totally thrilled by, uh, it the artwork is just so perfect to draw you in. The colors, the lighting, everything is working here. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. So I think that Monkey Dory is a worthwhile pickup get into that $12 range. Uh, lastly, we cannot go on without talking about the big elephant in the room, and that's Pokemon 151. A quick reminder on 151, going out to one lucky winner, that poster collection. If we get those subscribers, we're looking for 4,000 subscribers so we can make our way on that journey. Uh, so be a part of the channel. We got to talk about 151 because we have the reprint. We have the Blooming Waters collection coming out in February. We have all this stuff going on. And I think we're going to see some heavier restocks from backstock that they had. We're going to see that that new wave of that product coming out in February. And that's kind of settled a lot of people, I think. So we have the trend just starting to come back down. Just bringing it back down to earth. This didn't make sense. This is too much. I'm okay with it being a $50 card. I'm okay with it getting to $55, even $60. But going up to $75 doesn't make much sense. It really doesn't. And it's this run right here in this block of time where we at, where there was 78 sold right here, just shooting it up real quick. Same thing was happening over on eBay. Same thing was happening in game stores, all of that stuff where people were doing it. So when they're checking the prices, they're going to all compare against one another, where to list, where to go, how to sell. And the market will follow. So this sampling of 78 sold is not a huge sampling. But you need to extrapolate that out to every card shop that's looking at this and going, whoa, hey, there's a run on the price here. So less sold was 63. I'll give it to you for 62, you know, whatever it is, just to make their buck. Um, and then you move and keep following those trends. Now we're up to 78. Pretty wild, pretty crazy. But it is coming down. And it's not unique to Blastoise. It is the set overall for the most part because the big three are already hitting there. Venusaur is a little bit less steep of an angle here, but we did get to 75. And now we're just declining a little bit in 73. And I feel like people are understanding that the artwork bit difference between Blastoise and the Venusaur. Venusaur has got a little bit more happening there. And finally getting a little bit of love, really, because uh, it's definitely uh, a little bit higher class artwork in my opinion um versus this one which is it's kind of cool but I, I just think there's a little bit more uh story to tell i actually like the war turtle 
uh, on this line a little bit more than the Blastoise as far as artwork. The Squirtle is phenomenal. Um, so I think Venusaur is getting a little bit of love, and that's going to sustain the price up a little bit higher than Blastoise. But still, this is unreasonable right here. This doesn't make any sense. And even on the big boy Charizard, we got our Charizard from Pokemon 151, and this has been working its decline here from that high point of... <laughs> Computer, wake up. 217. 217 was that high point there, and now we're coming down to that sub-200 there in the 195 range. 191. What do we got here? 181 is what we're seeing there. So you're already seeing listings bringing it down, trying to offer an alternative. No, they don't have a rating. They have fewer sales by comparison to many other stores, uh, which is fine. And that's part of the game. When you're in that boat, you kind of have to list a little bit lower, but that helps drive the price down for people who are willing to take the shot on you uh, and go for it. You get up here where you start uh, moving to that 190 range. If we just go a few pages down the road here uh, and see what's a little bit more reasonable, where you have the ratings, you have the sales, we're over 200. So there's, there's a handful out there that are going to be trying to help pull that price down. One, to make the sale on their end because they're, they're sitting in the high points here. So they want to make their buck. But uh, it's something to look out for. So use PayPal, things like that. Just have protections when you purchase a credit card, PayPal. Get the layered protection for yourself because it, it can be, and I'm not accusing any of these stores. I don't know any of them at all. But I've had it in the past where I've made a purchase and nothing pans out. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I have to contest it and they end up going back and forth finally realizing this isn't working. Uh, usually TCG players step in and take care of the refund and, and move forward on that. Um, if it doesn't work there, you have PayPal to back you up on it. If that doesn't work, you have your credit card to back you up on that. So just those little layers of protection that you can take as a buyer, they always say buyer beware, uh, you know, add that to your bank of tools when it comes to purchasing cards, especially at this level. But at this level, I'd love to see it. I'd want to hold it. I want to be there in person or at least be on eBay and get a lot of pictures of it so you can see the corners, get the entire view of the card you're going to be picking up because uh, spending this kind of price on a card that you're blind to a little bit a little bit risky in my opinion uh, that's going to do it for our sunday slip we got a lot of good stuff out there it's actually kind of worked out a little bit more than i thought but i think tuesday trends everything going up is going to be more interesting this week uh, we have our 151 pokemon 151 poster collection going out to one lucky winner all you got to do is like comment and subscribe be a part of the channel i tell you how to do it specifically in the description down below so make sure you take a look there because there's a link there's a video you got to go comment on that video also and make sure you are entered to win once we reach 4,000 subscribers and we've already tipped over 3,000 so we are on the road and thank you for tuning in and don't forget uh, I post seven days a week so with that I'll see you tomorrow peace